Hi, everybody. All right, we're skipping around a bunch. For some reason, working on the engine and everything that we've got left has pretty much made me like ADHD. So I, I work on one thing for like 10 minutes and then I move to something else. All right, so we're starting off this uh, journey with plugging in the vacuum lines. So off the right side of the auto throttle body for the EFII system are two um, AN4. Is it AN4? It is AN4 sized. No, but it's, I'm sorry, it's, it's quarter inch, it's, or eighth inch NPT, sorry, it's eighth inch NPT thread. And you have two barbs, and I'm using some silicone vacuum line uh, to port those up to the manifold pressure sensors. Each one of those lines will also be teed. One goes to the manifold pressure sensor of the Garmin system, and the other one goes down to the fuel pressure regulator. And in, right now we're just kind of plugging them in and then leading them uh, to the back. Haven't decided exactly at this point which way we're going to be where, or how we're going to be teeing things off. Okay, next bit. Uh, we've got the prop governor bracket to put on. And there you see the prop cable that we are test fitting in place. The problem that we have is that the bracket rides pretty low and we've been planning on bringing that fuel line across the top of the pushrod shr uh, shroud. Uh, because of that, we're sort of having to modify the fuel line, or at least the length of it. Um, here, in fact, you know what? Here's a picture of what I'm talking about. So you can see with the bracket on, having it directly over the top of the tube would be impossible. It basically just runs directly into the bracket. So you can see we've modified our clamping approach, and now we are clamping from both shroud tubes. In an, in an effort to sort of get it around that bracket. So uh, the only difference that we will, uh, the only special thing that we'll have to do is you can see the red cap of the T where the injector is uh, to get the line to get around that bracket and back into that we will have to put a 45 degree end on it, which I'm happy to report works out great. You'll see it in the future. Alright, so now that we're done with that, we are now moving over to the throttle bracket. So, this is interesting. Uh, you know, Vans uses McFarland brackets, which are fantastic. Uh, the stock one for the RV14 is 54 inches, which is the one that I bought. I bought it from Vans because you get it more than half off, and it's, you know, it's the, it's the, it's the best. Uh, problem is, with that superior cold air sump, and where that auto throttle body is, it's not quite long enough. Technically you can make it stretch and get all the way to where the bracket is. You can see I've got it hooked up there. The problem is to have that hooked up, it, you have to stretch that throttle cable to the to the limit. I mean it and and unfortunately when you do that you wind up having a lot of sharp bends and you don't want sharp bends in your control cables. So what are you gonna do? Uh, thankfully, McFarlane also sells these. That is the extension for the cable. So we put the extension on and it's going to work great. Now we still have to make a, a bracket to put it on later, but not right now. So what we are going to be working on is the oil cooler. So there's the oil cooler. You can see, it, see it's sitting on the uh, workbench there. We're going to mock it up. We've got to put the parts in place. Uh, it basically sits on a plate that's attached to the firewall, and then it also attaches to the engine mount, and then there's one more bracket that attaches to the other corner of the plate and sort of supports it. Uh, we have to put that in place so that we can see exactly where we can fit our second fuel filter. Right, fuel comes out of the firewall into the filter up into the number three cylinder. Well, it's basically gonna live right by the oil cooler, so we're gonna put that in. And there we go. So the only part that we're missing from this system, you can see the scoop at the top there sort of missing the sort of a big opening there. Uh, yeah, there's a piece that goes across the top that has a four inch uh, barrel shaped piece attached to it that uh, directs the scat tubing in place. Though I'm thinking about replacing it, but we'll, we'll talk about that later. All right, uh, last thing before we go, as you can see, I'm working with a big piece of angle aluminum there. 
Uh, I'm not happy with the piece that holds the throttle and the prop cables in place. Sort of your throttle quadrant area. I'm, I'm, I'm not happy with uh, it sort of moves a little bit too much for my like, so I'm replacing it with some heavy angle aluminum. Yes, it's costing me three ounces, but it is worth it. So, All right, in the next video, we're going to be doing more things. So hope you're having a good week. Thank you for joining me. See you soon.